Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a rolling six month chart using the SUMIF function. So what I've got on the screen is the finished example. So I'll just show you how this works. So there I've got the December 2022, which is the trigger for this. If I change that to say September 22, when I press enter, you can see there, look, the next month along is August and July, and it's showing six months back from the trigger cell, which is September 2022. If I change that to um, August 22, and press enter, it moves back from August 2022, and the chart is picking that up. So what I want to do is recreate this. So I'll just delete all of this off. Okay, so first of all, in cell M1, I've got the function equals today, which is today's date. And I've got this date formatted just to show you the month and date. Now, to come off this by one month, I need to use the end of month function. So I'm going to type equals EO month. Look at that cell comma and minus one and then close the bracket on that so let's just tick that one so that comes in with november 2022 which is correct and i can just pull that one back and each time it's just going to drop off one month which is great now i need to use the sum if function that's going to look down this row for a date match it with a date on this row and then come back with this figure so let's type that in there equals sum if so i'm looking down this list in a comma for first of all that date comma and then i need to add up or bring back whichever figure that is now if i want to pull that across i need to use dollar signs on these cell references so I'll just press f4 on that one and then F4 on that one, and then just tick that. And if I pull that across to July, I can now see 789 July, 789 July. So that's picked it up. Now I'm going to use names. I'm going to name this first row Steve. Press enter. And then I'm going to name this second row Sales press enter so then I can swap this formula so I don't have all these dollar signs so if I just backspace all of that so I can look at Steve comma still need to look for the date comma and then if I find the date the same add up the sales close the bracket click the tick and then I don't need to worry about dollar signs just pull that over so that looks better, tidier. Now the last thing I want to do is put a little chart on this. If I highlight this data, go up to the insert tab, pick a chart type. It's coming up with a column chart. That's the one I want. I'll just go, I'm not going to go through all the formatted options. Just go finish. There's the chart. And then I move this underneath this little table. I don't need the label there. Just make it a bit, bit bigger get rid of this label now so that's looking at July June so that's looking at this data I'll just test this now if I change August to September 22 it changes showing back from August everything's working fine if I put that to November 22 that's working back from the trigger November so October September etc etc so that's how you can create a rolling chart that's constantly changing depending what the trigger is as you add different dates along there that will pick that up so hopefully that little video was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one